I'm Anil Kumar and here is a video for my subscriber Ellen on YouTube. Now Ellen, let me give you a word of caution. I have solved the questions from your book. But remember, most of the time teachers are giving you different questions. They may be of similar kind. Most of my videos, I will also attach link for those, are the real questions from the test papers. So I'll encourage you to go through my videos apart from just these review questions. Now let's begin. It is 7.1 equivalent trigonometric functions review. The very first question here is, state trigonometric ratio that is equivalent to each of the following trigonometric ratios. One is cos 13 pi over 10. The other one is minus sine 13 pi over 7. So sometimes I've changed the values, but I've kept them same most of the time for you. Now here, when we say state trigonometric ratios that are equivalent, then safest is to see the angle with the horizontal and relate it with the related acute angle. That way you are not going to make any mistake. Cos 13 pi by 10, that means 0. If I am dividing this pi in 10 portions, here I will have 10 pi by 10, correct? Here we will have 15 pi by 10 and then we will have 20 pi by 10. That is a very interesting way of writing so that clearly you can get where is 13 pi by 10. So 13 pi by 10 is somewhere here. So it is 10, 11, 12, 13. Kind of like this you can check, right? 14, 15. So let's say 13 pi by 10 is kind of like this. So this is 13 pi by 10 for you, okay? Here, what is the acute angle? Always find the acute angle. This is your acute angle, right? In this particular case, difference of these two is 3 pi by 10. So 3 pi by 10 is the acute angle. Now, cos function is negative in the given quadrant. To find that, you can use your rules, right? So we have all are positive here, sine is positive in this quadrant, tan in this, and cos is quadrant again. Fourth quadrant, right? So all students take calculus, cost rule, all silver teacup, whatever way you follow, you follow. But you know, here cos is negative. So we know one thing about it, that we are getting a negative value. So put that negative first. Second, what is the acute angle? Acute angle is 3 pi by 10. So we can write this cos as cos of 3 pi by 10, right? So that becomes your acute angle. Do you understand? So if you see this function in quadrant 1, where all are positive, cos 3 pi by 10 will return a positive value. Therefore, you have to write this negative here. Since in quadrant 3, cos 13 pi by 10 is going to be negative. So I hope you understand the concept. It's a very important concept, okay? Now let's begin. How to do the part 2? Now, I have purposely taken just these two from the set of questions there. Since it involves minus sine 13 pi by 7. I thought I wrote 7 minus here. Anyway, so let's take minus sine 13 pi by 7 as written here. I'll give you a question after that. So when we say minus sine 13 pi by 7, then where do I land? Pi by 7 means this is 7 pi by 7. We are starting with 0. And 13, we are going to end with 14, I mean 14 pi by 7. That is 2 pi, correct? So 13 pi by 7 basically will be somewhere here. Pi by 7 less right so the acute angle here is pi by 7 now since sine is negative in this quadrant so we are going to get a value which is negative so we can write for this but we already have a negative here that means negative of negative right that means positive correct negative of negative and the acute angle is pi by 7 so i can write this as 7 sine pi by 7 in acute angle. So, strictly speaking, I should be writing this as just sine 
pi by 7. To get so Ellen, this is your answer. Minus sine 13 pi by 7 is actually equals to sine pi by 7, right? So this will be positive acute angle coordinate 1. Here, minus of a negative value will give you positive. So both work fine, right? Now, here is the test question for you. So let me write this function as sine of, let me write this as minus 13 pi by 10. Now, in that case, can you write this in the form of equivalent trigonometric function? That is what it is. Can you do that? Let's look into this example now. When I say the angle is negative, that means we are going clockwise direction, correct? So 13 pi by 10 as we did here will go actually in the clockwise direction and so we we'll land up here in this case. That will be the terminal arm. Since the terminal arm is in coordinate 2, sine is positive. So we are expecting a positive value, correct? So write positive here. Now what is the acute angle? In this particular case, well, I should have drawn it here in any case. In this particular case, uh, we are looking into uh, 10 pi by 10 here. Let me rewrite. So this angle is 3 pi by 10, correct? Acute angle is 3 pi by 10. So I should be writing this as sine 3 pi by 10 as our answer, right? I hope that helps and also follow the links which I have attached with this solution. They will help you to really understand and get good marks in your test. All the best. Thank you.